Well, Tom, that was a pretty special week in Canterbury. Um, what was it like to be a part of it? Yeah, it was obviously fantastic, I think. Uh, you know, the result at the end of the day um, to to chase down 500 uh, obviously doesn't happen that often, but I think the way the, the guys were able to, I guess, absorb a little bit of pressure at the start, um, you know, we probably weren't at our best with the ball, but, um, you know, credit to the way that, I guess, Kent played in terms of, um, you know, getting to the score that they did, but uh, I think when we went into bat, as I said, we were able to absorb a little bit of pressure and then, um, and then I think just the partnerships they were able to build throughout the innings to to get across the line and, and win by five wickets was yeah, obviously an outstanding achievement. And you were obviously out there for quite a while with Dom. Um, he clearly got into quite a, um, you know, a mental frame whereby he was just, as you say, absorbing all that pressure. Um, what was he like out there in the middle with you? Yeah, I think he played fantastically well. Uh, I think the role he played throughout, um, you know, the innings to, I guess, to anchor the, the innings for, for the whole time and to, to be there at the end um, was obviously pretty special for him. Um, I guess obviously the, the challenge of batting for that long is, you know, is obviously an outstanding achievement in itself. But um, yeah, I think with the guys were able to bat around him and, and just play their roles a little bit. So um, yeah, he, he did fantastically well and hopefully that sets him up for the next couple of, uh, couple of weeks. And, and what was the atmosphere like in the dressing room actually before the chase when you, you're sitting there facing down a, well certainly a Surrey record to, to chase that total? What, what, was the, what was the chat in the dressing room? What were you talking about before going out to face that challenge? Uh, there wasn't a lot of chat to be honest. I think it was about guys just going out there and, and playing their roles as best they can and, and trying to stick to a game plan for, for as long as possible. And I think we were a couple down um, on, the th on the third night, which um, you know, J Jamie Smith came out and played a, a fantastic innings. Uh, you know, he took the game away from them a little bit and, and Sibbers just played his role at the other end. But I think heading into that last day, it was about guys going out there and, and just playing their roles as best they can. And um, you know, we, we knew we weren't going to win it in the first session. It was about trying to take, take it deep and, and absorb that pressure. And, uh, and the guys obviously did that fantastically well. And um, you know, towards the end, we managed to, to pick the rate up a little bit. Um, um, and you know, put the pressure back on them, and to, to get across the line, you know, in that last session was yes, it was a, it was a great achievement. Uh, and tell us, why did you want to come here, come to Surrey, um, play here at the Kiro Oval? Uh, I think the opportunity presented itself. Um, you know, there's obviously five games and, and sort of eight weeks, and uh, I guess to experience these conditions again, uh, obviously played a little bit of county cricket before and, and played a few test matches over here. But I think Surrey, obviously, a, you know, a famous club here here in England, and um, I guess to mixed with some of the players and obviously some of the coaches here um, you know it was was important for me and um, yeah, I've certainly enjoyed my time so far um, and what are you what are you hoping to gain yourself obviously we're hoping you'll come here score lots of runs for us but what are you hoping to gain from this experience here as well yeah as you said obviously the I guess yeah, you want to do well on the park but for me it's about trying to I guess come into the, the environment and and fit into the culture and sort of add a little bit of experience uh, you know from my point of view um, obviously these guys play day in day out here in England so for me it's about trying to learn um, and, and sort of build my game um, in different conditions as well. So um, I think every time you you go to play or, or you train, it's about trying to trying to get better and, and learn and I guess add, add a few new skills. So um, yeah, that's what I'm looking to do over the next few weeks. A big game here starting on Sunday against Lancashire, one of the really strong sides in the division. Um, how much are you looking forward to coming out wearing the three feathers at the Keir Oval for the first time? Yeah, it'll be great. It'll be great to, to represent Surrey at home. I've uh, been fortunate enough to play a few games here um, for, for New Zealand and uh, it's, a, it's a great atmosphere. Um, obviously it'll be slightly different with the, the four day game but um, yeah, I just guess to, to come here and I guess meet, meet a few members and, and a few of the supporters. Um, you know, you get such a big following over here in England um, with, with cricket and especially four-day cricket. So, uh, yeah, just looking forward to coming here and, and I guess getting stuck into another game of cricket and, and hopefully we can put on a good performance.